James Webb Space Telescope that launched last year. So take a look. NASA says the telescope is now settled into orbit and fully functional with just its first observations starting to come out. These pictures don't even look real, <laughs> but here to talk about these amazing real full color images is expert Thomas Green. So Thomas, thank you for joining us and tell us a little bit more about what we're seeing. Well, I'm happy to be here. And what we're seeing is uh, just the first glimpse of what uh, the Webb Telescope can do in a lot of different astrophysical situations, sort of spanning the whole universe, all the way from almost the beginning of the universe, the beginning of time as we know it, to uh, planets uh, near us. So all those little orange blops that we see, what are those? What are the little orange things and what are the little white, big white things? Right, so we, uh, uh, to keep you on your toes, things are coded a little differently in the colors and the different images, but okay. generally the points, and particularly the points with uh, the spikes on them, those are stars. Uh -huh. And uh, just like you see in, in normal images from the Hubble and other telescopes, and uh, those tend to be bluer because uh, the Webb Space Telescope uh, can see much redder than what our eyes can see. Uh, the bluest color you can see is about red for our eyes, and then it can go out like 30 times bluer, so, so excuse me, 30 times redder. So it sees much redder than our eyes or the Hubble. So the brown stuff is usually like about five times or 10 times redder than our eye can see. And a lot of these images, this is these are uh, molecules, uh, the very small molecules, uh, almost the size of dust that are uh, they're hydrocarbons. They're being lit up by uh, ultraviolet radiation from the stars. So it's just dust? Those are big just dust balls? Um, a lot of the, a lot of it is, but they're also in addition to just being dust grains, like the you know, uh, uh, like like little bits of carbon and silicon. There are these uh, uh, molecules, or these big chains of molecules that um, uh, get excited by this ultraviolet light and uh, let out light in the uh, infrared. They're usually associated with dust. They they form out of the dust. They're precursors to uh, molecules that are important for life. And so, are are we seeing any other planets or anything, or galaxies, or just? Stars yeah, so um, if we go, so there are um, five images here, and uh, the one that uh, was unveiled by President Biden yesterday is this deep field. It's uh, got this uh, sort of a, a janky name, SMAX 0723, and it's a uh, cluster of uh, galaxies that is looking outside of the Milky Way. So it's th this cluster is like, uh, uh, like, th th thousands uh, hundreds uh, hundreds of millions of light years away and then but we see are even more distant galaxies behind it and their shapes are distorted into uh, these arcs so those are the arcs that we're seeing that's fascinating it's also fascinating that the stars look like how we paint them how artists paint them i mean those spikes are just they're perfect um yes yeah, the spikes are um, an artifact of the telescope. Uh, some telescopes have spikes, some don't. You may see a telescope behind me. This yeah. one here doesn't have spikes because it's just a clear piece of glass. With Webb, we uh, have segments in the mirrors and mm -hmm. also we have to hold another mirror in front of the main one and that actually produces the spikes. So Webb is an infrared telescope. So how is that different from telescopes like Hubble? Right, so uh, Hubble we, is sort of centered on the light that we can see with our eyes. It'll see about blue colors that are about twice as blue as what we can see. So we'll see into the ultraviolet that we can't see. Uh, and also it will see redder colors. It'll see red about three times as red as we can see. And uh, uh, James Webb starts to see at uh, about the reddest uh, color we can see, and it sees much redder than that. And the advantage of that is uh, the universe is expanding. and uh, uh, it ha and because of that, all the light gets shifted to redder wavelengths, so we can mm. catch that. All right, that's so fascinating. Thomas, I'm excited to see what else we're gonna learn from this, and thank you so much for, for your time and all of your great answers, we appreciate it. You're welcome, and uh, thanks for your interest. Yes, thank you.